What is up everyone? Today on the menu, finally a Kiesel. Let's check out this Vader Multiscale. Now before I start talking about this guitar, huge thanks to my good friend who gave me his most precious baby to make this video. Make sure to check out his band called Legacy of Atlas on Facebook and YouTube. There's a link in the description to their first single, which was self-produced and mastered by me. Now let's get to this. First of all the specs. It has a black limba body, or let's say wings, because this is a next through construction, just like any other Vader. Painted in this super cool metallic finish, which is called pearl blue. It has got a maple neck, which is finished in tongue oil, so it's an open pore finish, and it's super smooth. Ebony fretboard, not a very dark one, and 24 stainless steel jumbo frets. The inlays are glowing in the dark, as well as the K logo on the 12th fret, and also the side dots are also luminlay. The hardware is your standard Kiesel headless hardware, which was designed in cooperation with Hipshot. And shout out to the people who designed this, because this bridge is gold. Also standard on every Kiesel and also on this, are the Kiesel lithium pickups made by Kiesel. I really like that they do extra slanted versions for their multiscale guitars and not just put the regular ones like this in there. We got a master volume and master tone and a five-way switch which is also standard on every Kiesel guitar. Personally I think every guitar should have a five-way switch because a three-way just limits the guitar's possibilities. Oh, and of course, the scale is 25.5 to 26.5 inch. Currently this guitar is tuned to drop B using a 9 to 54 super light 7 string gauge by the Dario, using only the bottom 6 strings, obviously, and it's just perfect. How does it feel? Well, I can only say good things about this guitar. Some people don't like the design, and I kind of understand that, but to me personally, I think this guitar is beautiful in a very special way. And without question, this tops everything in coolness. When I changed the strings on this yesterday, I realized how much this guitar is built just for pure ergonomics and practicality. Form follows function. It is extremely compact. Let me show you its case. How small is that? It's also very solid, so your guitar is definitely safe in there. One more thing about this bridge and the strings. I don't think I ever change strings on the guitar that's not mine that quickly. You just put the string in here, pull it through the headpiece, lock it, tune it up, done. No pain of turning tuning pegs or having strings that don't go straight into the tuner. No, the string just sits perfectly straight. Also the tuners are very precise, so nothing to worry about there. Now, due to its compact design, it is very light and also very balanced. Like I could imagine having a three hour rehearsal with this while standing without any problem at all. The tongue old neck feels really really smooth. And overall this guitar is just designed to be played. That's something I like about Jeff Kiesel. All of his models are thought through. And you notice that. You got perfect access to the higher frets. You got your arm cut away here which is nice and comfortable. You got the tummy cut away there. It just plays great, I don't have much more to say about that. Now some people are wondering why the Vader models do have two strap buttons at the bottom. You usually use this one, and this one is there to prevent the guitar from falling over when you just like put it away in front of the amp or something like that. So it sits very stable. Just make sure your bassist doesn't hit it. To sum this up in one sentence, this guitar is very well put together. How does it sound? Well, right away, I think this guitar sounds fantastic. I really like the lithium pickups because, to my ears, they translate the vibrations of the wood very well. However, because they do that so well, they get this twanginess through that this guitar in particular has. I mean, it's not something I dislike in the first place. It's just, it makes the guitar sound special. It's a preference thing. So I stopped talking here so you can listen for yourself. Thank you. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed this beautiful Veda. That's it for today, and I will see you next time.